Well, there is no public entertainment for a while, and that means that Worcester's largest venue can be used to help treat coronavirus patients. The DCU Center will be transformed this week into a 250-bed field hospital, the first of its kind in the state. And as Nick Emmons explains, from Worcester, it will be run by UMass Memorial Healthcare. So these trucks here arrived earlier today. They're full of equipment and supplies, everything necessary to transform the DCU center into a temporary field hospital. It's a race against time in a battle against a deadly virus. But we have to get this done because once the surge hits, you can't set up a field hospital then. You'll be totally overwhelmed. Dr. Eric Dixon, president of UMass Memorial Healthcare, helped craft a plan to turn Worcester's DCU Center into the state's first field hospital in preparation for a surge in COVID-19 cases. Our entire strategy has been to slow the spread of this virus such that the healthcare system can keep up. The field hospital will be managed by UMass Memorial Medical Center. There will be 250 beds inside for patients who are not critically ill, so those with more serious COVID-19 complications can be cared for at area hospitals. We recognized several weeks ago that here in central Massachusetts, we were not going to be able to keep up with the number of beds that we had available. Right now, Worcester has 115 confirmed cases, and with a surge expected over the next two weeks, even the most experienced medical professionals are feeling on edge. I don't think anybody's life experience is quite prepared them for this. We've never seen this in our lifetimes. So set up here at the DCU Center is expected to get underway tomorrow. This is the first of three temporary field hospitals in the state. In Worcester, I'm Nick Emmons, WBZ News. Nick, thank you.